I would like to welcome everyone, whoever watching this uh, live or this video. Um, before I give a teaching or share some of my thoughts and experience about the mind consciousness and uh, uh, a tanka art, which I've been sharing for almost uh, now 20 years, 18, 18 years at least. And so I'm very grateful uh, to use this technology um, to connect with everyone who is out in the world um, and uh, make this as a, as a wave that I can connect and share. And uh, please uh, ask your question at the end of, uh, of this, uh, of this uh, live. And uh, before I uh, share anything, I would like to take a little moment of gratitude. Let's take a moment of the gratitude to our parents for their kindness to give a life and to all the elements to all the elements let's pay a gratitude to the fire to the water to the earth to the air and the space and to all the gurus the teachers spiritual guidance teachings let's pay gratitude to for their for their kindness for for the light so that we can all find light within ourselves let's let's rejoice in a life there are many things going on in the many different part of the world many many things whenever we watch any kind of uh, any kind of uh, news um, or anything there are many many things going on in this world and so if you are having a good life i wish you really best and may this good life continue to serve you for the for the practicing for your own goodness and if you are having a not good life and i wish you really best to get some transformation some healing and some uh, metamorphosis may you transform and before i also share anything i would like to share this uh, new flute that uh, it's fascinating it's a south american flute um, and I want to offer this everyone for joining this. This is a, I haven't really played this flute very much, but it seems very interesting. I hope you all like the sound. You can comment if the, my sound quality and the sound is okay. And I'm outside here. Uh, it's really beautiful. I'm under this magnolia tree and I didn't want it to miss an opportunity, uh, to go live from outside, uh, because it's really beautiful so
new um, flute that I have invited in my life. Um, so I'm really grateful. I will make more videos of this flute to share more musical um, uh, offering, medicinal musical offering. And uh, you can ask any questions you have at the end. Uh, but first, I would like to share some of my thoughts about the mind consciousness and the Tanka art. As you have uh, seen, that I've been sharing um, the Tanka art for in the social media a lot also and its teachings and its significance and some symbolism. I also want to make it very much related to our mind consciousness and uh, how we can get related on it because sometime maybe um, um, maybe sometime it's uh, it's it's difficult to be related. Um, so first of all, we have to understand uh, that our mind have a many many different layers many different aspect many different uh, dimensions many different perspective our mind each individual whoever watching this each individual are have a very different mindset uh, that we are very clear um, somebody like sandwich somebody like burger somebody like noodles somebody like dumplings somebody like um, anything so I would like to share something about the art that is related and it's how we can navigate through that art uh, to understand our own mind and every 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 teachings every paintings every art that I'm sharing with you all it is all about how we understand our own self because I I have encountered myself and I have encountered surrounding myself that sometimes people you know they say oh i love this teacher so much um and so much so much and then suddenly something happens and they start hating that teacher so anyway my perspective my view my understanding is the art that i'm sharing with you it is about how we can get access to understand our own self our own mind sometimes there are uh, wrathful images that i share with you all um, and it is the perspective of the ego or anger and uh, according to the teaching itself the anger is not a bad thing we just have to learn how to navigate through um, anger if we turn we if we understand our own anger nature we can turn into a strength we can turn into something that is beneficial for oneself and others it's uh, and uh, so but not understanding the anger we have a we create a lot of different troubles. We create a lot of different problems within ourselves and uh, others. And not only anger, but in general understanding of the emotions and the mind consciousness. And so I was um, very much inspired by meeting some of people uh, like neuroscientists in the gallery that here in Berkeley. I was very passionate uh, and talking with them very, uh, very, uh, very beautifully because now a lot of different neuroscientists they are coming close to understanding of the molecules brain cells uh, and and what it plays the different emotions and uh, and uh, we've been sharing this art basically j just to remind yourself that you have a different perspective there are sometimes the union paintings that I share there are sometimes wrathful images I share there are sometimes peaceful images that I share it's all about how we come come to understand our own own nature of mind um, I don't know what are you doing to understand uh, to uh, um, to have a space to understand your own nature of mind but I'm in my process of uh, going into more and more deeper to understand my own nature of the mind and uh, because I believe that um, when you understand your own nature of the mind you basically connect with everything also because you are all there is a you know we've been hearing and uh, we know that everything is interconnectedness there is a lot of uh, um, saying out there and there is a lot of quotes out there that saying everything is interconnectedness but how do you really apply to your personal experience and uh, and by really understanding your own self you can really really um, understand many things outside I cannot say everything but at least you will have a lot of different understanding because uh, we have anger nature we have a greed nature we have we have many different emotions that we have inside that is actually um, 
um, it can be beneficial if we become aware of it. But if we are not aware of the our own emotions, then it can also create a lot of different troubles. So um, that's why the multiple time, this is many different countries, many different places, including Nepal, Tibet, and northern India. We share a lot of different images of the different deities to and a lot of different, uh, what do you call the mask dance. It's called uh, Tam, uh, also in Tibetan language, uh, which uh, there are wrathful images. They wear multiple different cloths and the mask and they dance. And uh, basically it's all all about making you aware of your own emotions, making you, making each individual aware of we have a many different layers of the emotions that we understand. So today I just got really inspired to share about the teachings about the mind consciousness and the Tonka art because it is very much a dependent, uh, this is very much connectness. Because the moment you understand the Tonka art, the moment you understand the symbolism of the Tonka art, the you will be accessing to understand your own nature of mind. So, um, uh, my basic, my my really uh, principle of life is to understand my own self, and uh, by understanding my own self, I hope I will be able to share more uh, more teachings and more some fundamental, some root, some deep. Uh, uh, some teachings because uh, there are many times we can say the Buddha said this or this Lama said this or that Lama said that or this enlightened master says this and enlightened master said that but what do you really see because because what Buddha said it's uh, we cannot even imagine how much sacrifice he have to he had to go through uh, to to come to that understanding uh, or a lot of different enlightened master. We cannot even understand how much sacrifice each individual have to go through to come to that conclusion. Even sometimes I see people, uh, we share about uh, the Rumi's quote or many different uh, great philosopher quote. But how do we really relate to it? Because the moment we see one quote and the next day we go to the next quote, the next day then we go to the next quote. So are we, are we really just looking for a quote or are we really applying to our own self? So this is a very, very uh, uh, questioning part that are you just looking the quote of, of different teachers or different masters are you re or are you really applying? Like in Buddhist philosophy, they say no matter how much memories you have, no matter how much study you, you study, unless if you really practice on your own uh, own level you cannot really understand um, the the teachings there is in English there is a saying the walking the path and knowing the path is very different so you might know many things I might know thousands of things I might know many teachings I might know all the different uh, um, you know philosophy but if I don't really apply to my own self then it is not really uh, from my own experience I can talk so I'm really grateful to share with you all today uh, what I'm talking to you, with you all it's it's really my own experience my own journey of life and I'm really grateful that I can use this technology to share um, this uh, these teachings and connect with you all because many of uh, you don't even know how did I grow up or uh, maybe you might just see with me in the hats or dreads uh, or the tankas but there are many, many things that I also went through and each individual, we all go through many different, uh, you know, many different process of life. Uh, but my deeper, my uh, more and more understanding is how I can really apply these teachings in my daily life or in my, in my life itself. Because this is a very, very important part to come to fully integration. It's not only about you go to a retreat and uh, you escape from the world and then uh, then you uh, you say I am this or that. Uh, my basic understanding is how we can basically uh, make it all everyday life. How we can make it every day uh, retreat. How we can uh, live every day fully. How we can live fully presence because um, and how why it's I'm I want I wanted to really talk about this emotions the consciousness mind consciousness and tanka 
it's because there are many different many different many many moments that we get affected by different other other people's emotions other people's consciousness other people's um, uh, garbage there's there was a beautiful story somebody was telling me and um, you know so like i was uh, we were driving and somebody just yelled at you like all that uh, it's, it was just angry and uh, and uh, i was reflecting on you know this is a lot of there is a lot of garbage also there and also it's up to you are you really um, can you really take a garbage and turn it into a compost or you have a choice you don't want to you you don't have to take the garbage but because now example in the social media now basically you can uh, uh, know the news i don't say it's real news a lot of time but uh, the lot of the news are really a fake news they uh, they try to just manipulate the human mind uh, they try to play with your emotions they try to play with your consciousness so they try they want to make you angry basically this lot of newspaper is wanting news report or news things is want you to become you want you to become angry they want you to feel shame they want you to feel uh, they want you to feel like a you know something that's bad and you should do always good thing or something uh, you know something terrible going on all the time uh, so so i mean taking taking a really moment of breathing will change a lot of different perspective of life i have a i have a little different uh, principle that i'm also trying to apply in my life anything it's happened to me um i'm also working on to share like what if i take just three deep breath in my in my some emotions what if i take uh this little contemplation uh on my emotions because um a lot of time the emotions are just like a clouds that are passing by but the inner nature of ourself is like a a blue sky and so i'm not saying that you are separated from the cloud or the clear nature but to be just aware a lot of time i reflect on the things like in the ocean the wave it's really moving very uh very rapidly uh but in the down in the ocean it's a very uh what do you call very subtle so um so the mind consciousness on the tanka art the tanka always helping each individual to connect with the deeper 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 level of one's own consciousness and uh, it really depends on one's own ability to go how deep we want to go because a uh, uh, lot of people uh, we shut down our emotions we are very vulnerable people doesn't want to go to that realm because it's very uh, kind of a scary um also it's very uh, vulnerable it's very um tender so tanka painting each in each in each paintings especially i'm not talking about this modern tanka sometime they try to make this and that but uh, in generally the tanka paintings are road map to understand our own consciousness our own mind so i hope making this video and uh, using this technology i am sharing with you all and giving more just a reflection of uh, of uh, of of uh, teachings that uh, you might already know um that uh, i hope you will more integrate more deeper understanding of one own self um i hope you will make a space in your life to to take a moment of uh, three breath i hope you will take a a moment in your life not to be so much affected uh, in the external newspaper and get angry towards others uh, because really deep uh, the the greatest practitioner uh, especially in the terms of buddhist practitioner is when we really uh, develop ability of loving kindness to all sentient beings including the one you hate or including the one you don't like or the including one you don't prefer liking it so just to that's why a lot of time we share about the mandala and mandala it's basically it's the whole family mandala is a whole family your neighbor your enemy your relatives your brother your sister a mandala is a whole family and so 
uh, the moment you realize that we are all actually interconnectedness, the more we we can navigate through this uh, this map um, of our own mind because our own mind is is a map. It's a map. The moment we kind of a plant uh, 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 teachings that uh, applies nicely, then you can actually navigate through your mind and through your heart and through the multi different multi different um, multi different uh, dimensions. Uh, multi different consciousness multi different layers of the emotions because a lot of time we think our mind is this so we're very sometimes we make ourselves very um, limited that oh onil thapa is a tanka artist onil thapa is a um, is the buddhist practitioner and teacher onil thapa is uh, from nepal onil thapa is this so we a lot of time when we do that um, also we kind of limit ourselves uh, so i hope uh, more and more teachings we can apply in our life that allow us to go more deeper deeper and deeper and deeper to understand our true nature of the mind and um, you can also um, share any thoughts your comments are welcome to to just let me know how i'm relating uh, this teaching to your life um, how it is applying how how you can um, and I also want to know from everyone that how are you uh, applying your teachings in your daily life how is uh, how is uh, um, how is your teachings beneficial for yourself so that you can become more compassion I want to know so feel free to uh, feel free to write uh, uh, the comments about your teachings about your philosophy how are you really applying um, so this is my uh, teachings for you all and I hope uh, uh, that it can be beneficial um, and uh, I'm just really grateful to take this moment and also there are a lot of different uh, great teachers uh, great uh, practitioner great uh, great uh, Tanka artist and great uh, um, you know great uh, teachings available um, but I just always question in my life it's also not about really you know thinking about a billion dollar thing it's about thinking about one dollar so sometimes it's really not about uh, looking for the teachings of the enlightened master but also how we can really understand our own teachings because we each individual uh, know ourselves more emotion so I hope uh, this teaching will allow you to t allow you to take over more your emotions and understand and at least give a space to uh, arise uh, to arise the wisdom that we each individual have and I hope you will not keep looking the the quote the enlightened quote uh, that will inspire you but rather be the inspiration uh, be uh, the practice practice in your daily life and I really wish you uh, best, everyone, um, my friends uh, uh, from all around the world. And uh, saying that, I would like to consult this uh, this uh, teachings. And uh, please let me know how do you feel, so that I can get more and more going live in the future. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, as long as I have a technology available, I will utilize this technology and sharing um, teachings the art and uh, some philosophy that uh, that will help us all to connect to our back to our heart uh, connect back to our self connect our back to the root and uh, I wish everyone uh, best in the journey of understanding own mind and uh, uh, my for please forgive me if I if I said anything that is, you know, against of your um, things, but uh, um, I'm just a unperfect one, simple human being, trying to find a way <laughs> in this world, uh, trying to find my journey within myself, and uh, I'm really grateful that I can use this uh, technology for sharing, um, saying that I want to conceal this teaching, and uh, may all beings be beneficial. May all beings be happy. May all beings find a way to understand one own, one's own self.
and saying that I would like to send a Vajrasattu prayer. Vajrasattu uh, is the Buddha of uh, purification. And when, when, we do, when we talk about the purification, we talk about purification of the greed, ignorance and anger, transforming into the generosity, compassion and love. So I would like to send uh, this uh, purification mantra through this vibration, through this sound, this, through this technology. May it reach everywhere. Om Bhadra Zodho Zomaya Manu Balaya Bhadra Zodho Deno Bhadra Jadidho Mevava Zodho Gaya Mevava Zubha Gaya Mevava Anuragdha Mevava Sarva Siddhi Me Prayata Sarva Garma Zodha Me Jidam Zari Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sarva Dhatankata Bhadra Ma Me Munche Bhadra Bhah Ma Samaya Sato learn how to transform garbage into compost may you all have a wonderful time I will share more videos about this uh, fruit that I just got um, this is a uh, amazing uh, South American uh, flute and I'm as you know I'm very passionate about the flute um, so I'll be happy to share the videos in coming days and until then, if you have any questions, any thoughts, please comment and share your thoughts. And um, I'm looking forward to share more and more as the journey goes. Omahum.